Mahani. And this week's gym stick tip is going to work our abductors and the muscles to the side of the legs. We're going to be including muscles of the torso. And then we're also going to add some arm exercises at the end. So it's a, it's a big one. So we're going to start off by actually placing the stick on the floor, crossing it over. So you're going to put the right hand down. You're going to cross it over and hold the stick like this. So what we're going to do is we're going to start off by placing the stick on the floor to the opposite side. So the bands are crossed and I went from right to left, but I'm pushing it across to the opposite side. Now, for this exercise, if you have a slippery floor, for example, tiles or wooden floor, it's best that you use a non-slip mat that you can stand on and also have the stick on, and it's going to stop the stick from sliding. But one of the key points here for this particular exercise is push the stick as far away from you as possible. Because as you lift up your right leg to the side, that stick's going to want to move. If you're holding it out here, it's going to move a lot more. So push it down, push it away, and you'll find that you'll be able to stay reasonably still with a fair bit of ease. So this is a really good exercise. It's working the side of your hip. You're going to go up quick down slow so you're going to control the descent as you come back in so you're not snapping and healing and it's such a great exercise you can really feel it in midsection too but what we're going to do is we're going to do this for 30 seconds or 16 repetitions or better still buy the music from powermusic.com and you'll be able to have all the music already timed out for you and um, we'll give you a little sound effect when it's about to end and then you'll know when to have the rest breaks so after doing six, well, 16 repetitions or 30 seconds of this, we're going to move on to the next exercise after a little 10 second break. So we want to recover just a little bit. And then with our next exercise, you're going to hold the stick in your hands with the bands still crossed. So hands nice and wide. You're going to lift that foot up off the floor again. You're trying to balance and you're going to push the stick in the opposite direction and try to push the stick down. So if you're a gym stick muscle instructor, a common error is people pull the stick up. So I want you to think about pushing the stick across the body and pushing it downwards. It won't be going really down that much, but it will stop the movement going up and will increase the intensity. Check that your hands are wide, and I like to hold the stick just in front of my thigh so I'm not rubbing up against my legs, which can also make it difficult for me to balance. So the idea is to be able to keep your right foot off the floor the entire 30 seconds. Now if your balance isn't fantastic, there's a couple little tricks you can use. Firstly, find a spot to focus your full attention on. And this needs to be a spot that's not moving. Secondly, use your big toe on your left foot and press it firmly into the floor. Think about your breathing and balance comes with practice. So the more times you do it, the more balanced you are. And I used to play a game when I first started doing gym stick because my balance was pretty awful 10 years ago. And I used to see how many repetitions I could do without touching the floor. So maybe you could do the same. So 30 seconds of this and then the final exercise, we keep the hands wide, we flip the elbows under and we actually press the gym stick up above the head. So you're going to take your arms up high, lifting that leg out to the side, ideally with that right foot still off the floor while you perform these reps. Now, you will notice that your left leg is going to get fatigued, and yes, it's also working, just holding your body up. So your left leg's going to get a great workout for this. So we go up and down, again, 30 seconds. Make sure that you push the stick all the way up above your head, and then when we have a little 20 second break, because we have a slightly longer break there, we go to the other side. But this is cool. We don't need to change the stick and, and cross it the other way. Because it's already crossed, we just put the opposite end on the floor and then lift up this leg. So you don't need to uncross it and cross it the other way or anything like that. Just place the opposite end down and away you go. If you want to add a little bit more intensity to it, one of the things I usually indicate to my participants is don't bring the feet together. You want to control that descent and just hold a little bit of residual tension in that leg with the band still tight. And that's really important, the band stay tight. So great abductor exercise. You've got the torso involved pretty much right from the beginning. 
and then we add the arms. Well, a little bit here, but then mainly above the head. And if you're thinking, I'd like to become a gymnastic instructor, there's a couple of ways that you can go about it. Firstly, email me, marietta.mahani at gymstick.com, and I can help you with finding a location around the world, because we have master trainers everywhere. But if we don't, I can certainly organise and get a training happening near you. And or you can contact me through my website, marietamahoney.com. And that's this week's gymstick tip.